So as developers, we spend the majority of our time searching for things on Google, Stack Overflow, GitHub, or even in our own project. So improving this task alone will have the biggest ROI for your time. Salam alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the tips I use every day as a developer to optimize and search for stuff I need. Let's get started. I will share three main aspects where to do search and the last one, like many, many people don't use it efficiently, so stick to the end. So search is an optimization problem, right? So what we need to do mainly when you are trying to search is to be as specific as possible. That way we can eliminate many things that we don't need. Imagine opening five or six website, then to see that this thing isn't required for your project. So we need to minimize the result, all right? So for example, let's say that I want to implement something with Open API, and I want to add something related to the daytime with Kotlin X, for example, I can press enter and can start to search, right? Now, as I said, Google doesn't know that you want daytime with Kotlin X for Open AI, okay? So we want to minimize as much as possible the number of results. So we need to be a little bit specific. So for example, there is this one, there is this one. If you try to view everything, then this is very costly uh, thing, right? So we need to make sure that we are searching for specific stuff. I want to do the Kotlin daytime exactly this one, Kotlin X daytime. So let me add daytime like that. Maybe I will have see something. Now, I want this to be part of the result. Okay, so you can notice there is Kotlin X here, daytime. I want an exact thing here. Usually, you Google, we do it like that. Okay, we do it with two backsticks, like the following two normal stuff. Now, what you will notice that all the results here will only show things that have this exact thing. All right, that's one thing to search for a specific thing. Now, pretend that I don't want to have something, let's, for example, there is this successfully something like I want to eliminate stuff from the result. All right. So I don't know. Let me search for multi-platform. For example, I can do minus and I don't want something related to multi-platform. OK, so I can do multi-platform. What does this mean is that it will eliminate anything related to multi-platform in the result. So you can notice that there is multi-platform here. I think this one, for example, when I search right now, it will remove that multi-platform thing. So combining these two things only will reduce massively the number of things you, you will see, okay? So this will move the results much closer to the thing you want, right? So these two things alone can help you do that. Now, you can go further by specifying which website you want to search for. For example, I want to search only on, for example, GitHub. I think I can do it like that. And then exactly you will notice that what I see here only referred to GitHub, for example. I can do the same thing, for example, searching for Stack Overflow, right? For example, this the result here will be only for Stack Overflow. One cool thing also, here you notice that there is date here, okay, 2021. For example, there's 20 to 12 months, right? You can also specify like after a certain year, for example. Can do after I think and 2024. No, three at least. So we will eliminate massively, right? You see the power of this uh, querying stuff. So we kind of you are querying Google, right, for specific things. So here this one will be only after 2022, exactly three months ago. Okay. So here I'm just demonstrating. I'm not actually searching for a thing. It's just an example, right? So you can notice this combination of these three things: the exact, the site. The after, specifically the after, because sometimes, for example, I was searching for some multi-module setting, right? And I know that this one, the community started doing this one, like until compose stuff. So I eliminated almost uh, everything from 2020, for example, or 2021, something like that. So this improved massively the result. Okay, so that's the main idea how I approach search. I try to eliminate the non-relevant stuff for my thing. And then like for, for in the beginning, of course, I don't do anything like that. But after that, if I start like noticing that I'm not finding what I want, so I will start giving up and start specifying my query as much as possible. Awesome. Like this is querying on Google. Now, if you take your project also, sometimes I notice a lot of people don't know how to search properly in their, in their project. For example, like most of us will do the following here. We'll search for, I don't know, let's pretend I'm searching for a function. Right, let's take a function that is here. I don't know. Go async. Like most of the time, if you do go async here, sometimes you will get it like that. You'll get it here, for example. I don't know, you will get it somewhere, right? Double shift will search 
everywhere and everything. But sometimes if you have really, really specific need, right? Because as I said, a lot of people search with this all, but they can search with classes. I want only classes. I want only some files, right? I want only some symbols. Here symbols mean variables, functions, and stuff like that. Search for actions. This action is also very, very, very powerful. Like I can search, for example, uh, select history, for example, or select history for history for selection, for example. Show local history for selection. Okay. Now you can do it here, but sometimes it will be problematic. You can do Command Shift A, for example, or for this one Command Shift N, and you can start searching specifically. And in many other places, we want to search some specific string, like any character stuff, inside the files. What I can do, I can, for example, search where are all the delays. I can press Command Shift F, like following, and this one will find in files. Okay, this is awesome. This is also another good feature. The beauty, as I said, you can do file mask here, for example. I'm searching only for Java files or for KT files. You can define your scope. Here you can click also to limit the search, for example, in only the strings, in the comments, except comments, for example. Like also, this is fine. Another thing cool I like about this one is that you can search for specific words, letter, and also regular expression. So this is also one cool menu or cool action like this Android Studio IntelliJ. Almost all JetBrains have this feature like the way to search. Like that way you can reduce the amount of things you are searching for. And that way you can be precise as much as possible about the things you are searching for. So you can find them easily. So you can proceed with your work. Okay, so the last thing not many people are talking about it, which is searching on GitHub. You know, as developers, we are developers, right? And usually we are searching for code, right? GitHub has many, many codes. So it makes sense that we can search here as well, okay? You can search for specific repositories, like you can go here, go to file, you can search specific files, for example. Let's say I want to find something related to view model. For example, I can find specific view models here. That's pretty fine. Also, you can do the search here. And you can search for view model. Like if you do search here, like you can see in Android, there is an Android and there is in the repo and there is in the organization and there is in this specific thing. You can notice that you can find things easily here. View model, like view model declaration, view model stuff in this repository. So this means that we can search for many stuff. For example, as I told you, I was implementing previously open API generation using YAML file, right? What I can do, I can search all GitHub for people who are using this thing in Kotlin. And guess what? We can, like this is the thing, we can specify and condense our search to only, for example, Kotlin. Like this is GS. Okay, I don't want GS. So what I can do, I can do language dot and do Kotlin, this one. Okay, and boom. I will eliminate everything. So you can notice I start getting this thing, right? So this is a result, how they are using this API generate. So I can notice they are doing this one, doing this thing. Maybe I had a problem with specific stuff. At least I can find, for example, usages, how they are using this one. Because sometimes they are using it because I had a problem. It's not, it wasn't working for me, right? So I wanted how other people are using it in their Kotlin files. So I understand how to, to fix my issue. Okay, and you can notice the amount of results. Like, for example, you can notice this big files, I understand. You can save them, that's beauty. You can save a search, then you can get back to it later on. What I can do right now, I can just explore how things, okay, this is awesome. Like, you can notice for this thing, this is cool actually to make my project or my compilation depend on this one. So this one will always execute before my Kotlin compile or Java compile. Like, this is pretty old, I think. Don't know where five months ago. Okay, that's not so old, right? So this is the idea. For example, I had previously also one thing. I wanted to search for a, a GUnit 5 plugin for Gradle, right? So first thing, this is the thing I want. I wanted to search GUnit Android, right? So this is the repo you'll notice. Okay, it has many stars, how to implement it. Okay, we'll implement it like that. Cool, awesome. What I did, I grabbed this thing, get back here and always search for this one. So what will happen is that you will notice who are people who are using this one. For example, guess what? Mega is using this one. Like Mega is famous Android application, something like Drive. This is actually a big open source project. You can check it. This is a cool thing to learn about new stuff. So you can notice that Mega is using it, right? There is Android, JetBrains by Android. Okay, I don't know about their application here, 
but you can notice that the amount of people who are using it like this is bigger like it means like it is kind of the official way to do uh, JUnit 5 in Android all right so it means I'm safe I can start uh, using it all right like many people are using it that's fine and finally you can customize the way you are doing search for example we limited this to Kotlin I can limit for specific repositories for example I can do repositories maybe I want to search for now in Android for example and of course, like this simply means go in at that repository and try to search for it while you are doing it here. But this is kind of the biggest way and the fastest way to search. You can search for commits. This is also fine. Maybe you want specific things to commit. But last thing, for example, you can search for specific stuff using the using the quotation like normally. So I'm searching for Kotlin daytime and also open API generate. OK, so what will happen is that you can go here. Exactly, this is the one. You can notice I'm searching for this one and this one. I'm making sure to find this thing as a whole, right? Like for now, it will find it as a whole because it is simple word, but you can add the string quotation to search for the exact thing. So you can notice I find it easily. Here is the code I need. Here's the map I need to do config option. And for the daytime, I need to give it Kotlin X data. Okay, this is uh, funny because if you go to the library and you could try to understand about parameters, you will find that easily. So if you go to the generator, for example, and press simple command F, right, and do date, for example, search for date, you will notice that the date library use the date library like that option and use it here. I think it's using exactly Kotlin X data. But one problem actually you wouldn't know without seeing such a result like that is that see this thing about setting specific things about API generate can be set as parameters like the following, right? But others need to be part of this thing. So I didn't know this information until I saw some code like that. So that's pretty good uh, thing to learn about. Okay, and for more optimization, I think if you go here to the, the code search syntax, you'll notice like, for example, this is the, the exact match, right? For example, there is Boolean stuff, the not, for example, and there is qualifiers. Qualifiers, there is repository. Of course, this is the first thing, there's organization. Let's say you want to search only in Android organization, for example. You can search for language, this is the thing we did. You can search for path. This is a path qualifier for specific files. Of course, you can search for anything that ends within CRC and GS. That's awesome. I think there's extension also. I don't know if there is extension. This is the languages. Okay, the languages, you need to be sure about the languages. Okay, so there are many things. Just try to check. There is content qualifier. There is regular expression. Finally, there is case sensitivity. Okay, this one is by default case insensitive, right? And you cannot make code sensitive search okay this is cool one but that would be problematic sometimes but fine like as we said we're just trying to minimize the amount of thing we need to search for okay so the next time try to use this one in order to search for specific thing you need and then i'm sure you will find it more efficient than going to google to find uh, the solution Sometimes, like this is the approach I do, I would try to go to Google, try to see two, three, four solutions on GitHub, Stack Overflow, stuff like that. And then I will try to see in my code base how I am doing that code and how people are using the thing, the framework, for example, the plugin. And then I try to search for this on GitHub to find some similar matches so I can get clues on how things work. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video at the end. If you like this kind of tips video, let me know below in the comments. I will try to make more videos about that. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.